Welcome back, Smart RVers, to another Fast Tip Friday with Eric Stark, the host of the Smart RVer podcast. Today, we'll talk about RV power converters and power centers. And before I forget, please hit the like and subscribe button. An RV power center and power converter are both important components in RV's electrical system, but they serve different functions. So to get started, let's look at the Wolfco power center, which is sitting right here. It's essentially the distribution hub for all the AC and DC power in your RV. So it's fed AC from the power's cord as it plugs into shore power or possibly from a generator. It contains circuit breakers and fuses that protect your RV's electrical system from damage caused by power surges or overloads. The power center also typically includes a set of 12 volt DC fuses that control various circuits in your RV, such as the lights, water pump, and slide outs. Some power centers also have built-in battery chargers that can recharge your batteries when you're connected to shore power. So now let's take a look at this Wolfco one and break it down a little bit further so you have better understanding. So this is how it would probably look in your RV if you have this brand. The other brands are similar. So you have the faceplate which comes off of here. There's a door, you press in, it opens up. And you'd actually be able to see all of your fuses and circuit breakers inside here with just the door open. But for today's video, we're going to take this completely off like we had it before. And we're going to set it down right there. So this is where your 12 volt fuses would go right here. And also these fuses, when one is blown, it has a light that turns red to let you know that the fuse is blown. And to make it even easier, right here behind this plastic, this protective plastic, it's a smoked color window, so you can actually see the fuse when it turns red if it happens to pop. So you have an indicator there, you know something's wrong. Then right here are your two reverse polarity fuses. So if you were to hook up your battery wrong, <laughs> mistakenly, cross them over, the positive to the negative, the negative to the positive, something like that, or the positive hits the ground for some reason. These fuses will blow rather than damaging anything in the power center or converter. Then over here is where your 110 volt breakers are, your bus bars for the ground and neutral. So these breakers just pop in and out just like in a house, pretty simple. And we just have one in here for your, this video today. Normally you'd have your main breaker up here that powers the R, everything in here. Then your individual circuit breakers for each circuit in the RV. And down below here, if you've noticed, this is the converter. This is what charges your batteries. So this is important. All RVs have one of these, maybe not this style, which we'll get into the other style in just a moment. So this particular item out of the power center looks like this. So this is the converter. It's called a main board assembly that would go in down here in the bottom. So that's pretty simple, just a few wires going to it, not hard to replace. So if your converter fails, you don't have to replace the whole unit, you can just replace the main board assembly. You can't see it very well, but there's two screws down here that hold it in, and then your wires, and that's it. Definitely a do-it-yourself item, piece of cake. Then on the back, you have the knockouts for the 110 volt. You have the larger one up here for your main power coming in, your 30 amp service. And then you have your 12 volt knockouts over here to run your 12 volt wires. So in the converter, you'll see Romex for your 112 volt, I mean 110 volt side. Then you'll see regular 12 volt wiring. This has to be trailer wiring, four way flat, but same principle for your 12 volt side. So it's a pretty simple configuration. Everything's nice and clean in one spot. Not too hard to work on. Even when you have all the wires going here, pretty simple, especially if you're just replacing the converter. So this is a modern power center, and this particular one also has auto detect on it, which charges lithium batteries, lead acid batteries. It figures out what you have, and it does the right charge rate. So we call that a smart converter or power center in this case. So that's the power center, and this just happens to be Wolfco. Like I said, there's different brands. They look a little bit different, but they perform the same way. Now. In contrast, a power converter is a device 
that doesn't have the power center on it. It's just a converter that converts AC power from the external source, such as where you plug in your RV to shore power or a generator, and it converts it into DC power that can charge your batteries or your RV's batteries and power the 12 volt accessories inside your RV. So it's necessary to have a converter one way or the other, whether it comes in a power center or a standalone one like this, we call it a deck mount because this is what's going to keep your batteries charged and power up the 12 volt inside your RV. You have to have the converter. It's going to, even if your batteries are dead, it will still power up the 12 volt lights and stuff. So you really need to have one. It's a must have. So the, the converter itself has a very simple configuration. Now this happens to be a Wolfco one WFCO, same brand as the power center here. So it has the reverse polarity fuses here, your positive and negative coming in, pretty simple. You have a ground lead here to ground it. Then you have a plug to plug it in the outlet. And this is how deck mount converters are, char are uh, uh, attached to the 110 volt system. They just simply plug in. Now here is a progressive dynamics one, just different shape. Same thing, it has the plug on it to get the 110 volts. You have your 12 volts here and you have a reverse polarity fuse here. So very similar, very simple. These are definitely a do-it-yourself um, project as well. And so these are essential, whether it's a deck mount like this or it comes in the power center like so, to keep the batteries charged and to keep the 12 volts flowing in the RV. You know, we have to have 12 volts to power up the lights, the circuit boards and like the refrigerator, the furnace, the furnace runs on 12 volts, not 110. So understanding that as well, the 110 volts is one side of the RV, the 12 volts is the other side. They might come together here or in something similar to this, but they're separate systems. Now the other thing that RVs sometimes have are power distribution centers which essentially would be this power center here without the converter down here. If you were to take that out and just have this upper section, that would be a power distribution center. So if your RV has a power distribution center in it, less a converter, then you would have a deck mount converter probably somewhere nearby because you have to have this as I've stated. So you're going to have both either in this form, this form, or a power distribution center less the converter and have a, a standalone like such. So it's pretty simple. It's just sometimes we get it confused or we don't understand how everything works. And when you're talking to someone at the RV store, they kind of throw things out there expecting you to know. Well, hopefully this video is going to help you to have a better understanding of how these components work in your RV. You know, for detailed instructions on diagnosing them, you can go to like Wolfco's website, wfco.com, and they have detailed instructions on all of their products. And all your products have a model number on it, so you can definitely find your product and see how to diagnose this if you're having problems. It's very simple to do, definitely for the do-it-yourselfer. So both of these types of converters will charge lithium batteries, lead-acid lead batteries, AGM batteries, it doesn't matter. They auto-detect. They understand it. They're smart these days. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about it. That auto detect feature works out great because batteries are all over the board now with lithium entering the scene. AGM and gel cells are getting more popular. So they definitely have you covered in that regard. So I hope I've answered some of your questions or all of your questions today. If not, let me know in the comments box. I check it all the time. I'll reply to any question you have and hopefully I can help you out that way. And check out the description below for more information about the converters and links to our websites where you can get detailed information and make a good decision. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.